Hi, my name is Kevin McDadell. I'm a account manager at Vision Truck Group, and uh, I have the privilege of looking after uh, Musket Transport, dealing with their trucks for the last 20 years. And we have a great uh, working relationship. Musket uh, run 100% of our trucks. They're all Volvos with Volvo engines, transmissions. Vision Truck Group uh, is a Volvo and a Mack franchise, and we have five locations in uh, Southern Ontario. So this facility was uh, built uh, just over a year ago now. This is a environmentally friendly building that's easy access for the customer and allows us to turn the customer's equipment around in a timely manner and an efficient manner. I'm Travis Brown, Director of Service Operations for Vision Truck Group. Um, this is uh, the first of many buildings that will be uh, constructing over the next uh, decade. It's got smart HVAC, it's got LED lighting, it's got heated floors, it's got overhead cranes, it's got connectivity for all the mechanics through to assist and having everybody tied in that way. I could be at one of our locations um, 300 kilometers away and I could still talk to a customer about a repair in this facility just by reading the case notes and understanding what's happening and seeing it in real time. Vision developed uh, the ideology of the Certified Uptime Center. We, uh, in 2013, uh, decided to make a change in the way that we do business. Uh, we found that too many repairs were getting stuck behind larger repairs. The backlog was, in, was increasing. Customers were arriving with very small repairs or short repairs, yet they weren't the first one in the line or it was a first come, first serve mentality. We found that the average repair for a truck in our shop would be about four days turnaround, which is the industry standard. We needed to make a change to that. We found we were able to increase the business we did in throughput by about 35 to 40 percent, changing the, the customer wait process from four days down to four hours or, or same day turnaround. We've had a rush of additional customers, additional units to our location, so now we have to increase by bricks and mortar. This location here to 21 bays came from a location that was nine bays. The new Mississauga location is gonna go from 21 bays to 42 bays. After that, we've got two other locations in Cambridge to upgrade, London and Stony Creek, and then a follow-up in Cambridge with an executive building as well. So we typically would see product issues start to surface on, on trucks before most others do. The amount of concentration of Volvo in this area, as well as our environmental conditions and our climate, uh, would bring a lot more of those to the surface. In many cases, we're dealing with issues before engineering knows about them and we're contacting the factory, bringing this stuff up to them and, and they're hearing it for the first time. So we are typically on the cutting edge of, of what we do with technology and servicing our customer, but as well as the, the product issues that we see. My name is Matthew Blackman. I'm the fleet sales manager for Volvo Trucks Canada. We are definitely a very forward thinking company. I know there's a lot of hype in the news lately with Tesla and BYD and there's the Nikola truck and you know all these alternative fuels and we're at the forefront of that. We already have uh, battery operated buses running around Europe, fully autonomous trucks. Nobody's in the trucks running around in the mines in Sweden. We will have that fully autonomous technology here. Volvo's fully committed, we're all in. Today, it has a, uh, a radar on the front of the truck and a camera on the windshield, so it can detect objects on the road that a driver may not see. As a truck is going down the road at 60 or 65 miles an hour and 80,000 pounds on it, it takes a lot of time for that thing to stop versus a car. So anything that we can help with the driver that's going to augment their role is uh, a big help. Uh, that technology is going to be coming quickly at us, whether it's autonomous driving or uh, platooning or anything like that. Everybody thinks that autonomous driving, you won't need drivers. Well, there's always going to be somebody in there. It's like a plane. For the most part, a pilot is in there for takeoff and landing. For the, uh, the rest of it is done uh, electronically. And trucks will get there as well. But again, you're always going to need a driver in that seat too control that. The technology that's there for drivers today, it makes it a lot more enjoyable, I think, in my own opinion. It takes a lot of the stresses off of trucking that used to be there. You know, you can really be a lot more productive, which is good for everybody. Back in the day, you're driving around in flat tops, you had to lay down to put your pants on, you know, you couldn't stand up to do anything. Now we're making reclining bunks to help people sleep at night. We understand the importance of drivers. Like I say, we're investing in all this autonomous technology, but we understand where the driver fits into that and how we will always have drivers and we want to make them as comfortable and as happy as possible so that they want to drive our trucks.